what's good youtube it's your girl miss golden 83 and i am here to do the dream catcher read for the sign of taurus okay taurus you guys are first this week on the zodiac lineup hopefully you guys are doing well remember you guys these are general messages not personal so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay um so you guys i'm sure you probably might get tired of me saying it this week if you've been watching all of your readings um but i'm just you know doing it repetitively um for any point in time when someone might catch this reading and may not be up to speed on what's going on on the channel so um remember that this is your permanent spot um, from now on, when it comes to your readings, Taurus, you are first in week two every month, okay? Um, so you don't have to worry about anticipating um, when your reading is, okay? So week two of every month is where your reading is, okay? Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading, okay? So let's start with one from the top which is your energy one from the bottom which is the energy of the person and or situation and then one energetically from the middle okay which is the energy between you and and or the situation or person okay so let's see what's going on in your energy Taurus so we have your energy is literally the seven of coins to start okay and then we have the knight of wands as the energy between the situation and or person okay and then we have the six of wands okay leo energy fire energy okay so you got double the fire energy okay victory okay <laughs> i don't know why i felt like i had to say it like that but so be it okay first time all of these um except for the knight of wands knight of wands came up before um, we have the seven of pentacles here, your energy, earth energy, okay? It's a beautiful thing, okay? Something in reference to um, long-standing history, okay? You have a woman here holding a dog, okay? That's so adorable. Oh my gosh, this dog is like giving me vibes. I miss being a, a pet mom, a dog mom. Um, but... They're sitting underneath this tree, okay? This is definitely new energy, so welcome, uh, new energy. I appreciate your viewership, by all means. Feel free to subscribe so you can know when I post a reading for your sign, okay? So, I feel as though with this Seven of Pentacles, it's something long-standing that maybe you might be waiting for. It's got two baskets here, okay? I feel like... That's where all of her pentacles will be going after they come or are ready for harvest, okay? Um, primarily, the regular seven of pentacles and rider's weight is talking about waiting for the fruits of your labor to be ready to harvest, okay? And so you are one of the most patient signs within the zodiac, Taurus. So there is something that you are awaiting, okay? Um, you've been putting in the work, okay? And so maybe... You're just waiting to receive okay so you're in receive mode all right um if you need help with kind of adapting on patients i know i do a lot <laughs> sometimes okay like i said even though we are a very patient sign we do have a limit sometimes okay um especially when we've been at something and you kind of want to see you know the fruits of your labor um kind of harvest if you will okay 
Um, so you can go on my playlist. Um, and I think I have a meditation on there as far as receiving. It's like, um, like power affirmations, I believe. Um, but it's uh, something that I usually sometimes play. I haven't played it in a while for myself. I need to, um, which I listen to all of my meditations overnight. Um, and that's one of my favorites to listen to. Um, so usually affirmations are really good because it kind of just kind of sits in, in your head and uh, subconsciously, okay, while you sleep. So it's mostly, you know, just simple affirmations of I am, you know, ready to receive, I am powerful, I am strong, um, just affirmations to get you prepared to receive your blessings that are coming in, okay? And so that's probably where you are right now, okay? Something um, that you're waiting on or multiple things that you could be waiting on, okay? So let's get into the energy of the person and or situation. You do have this Knight of Wands here, okay? Which is sitting on this dragon breathing fire because it's fire energy, no particular sign. You can count pretty much all of them in there. Um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? Excuse me. And it's facing towards this seven of pentacles okay so someone or maybe a possible situation um is aiming towards you um passionately okay um and is possibly very determined um to be in your energy all right um i do get this vibe of maybe being in a fire energy, maybe possibly destroying something that was very long standing, okay? Um, for some of you, that's not for everyone, something in particular, um, and you could maybe be dreaming of this, okay? Maybe you've dreamed of something destroying something that you've worked really hard towards, okay? Um, or maybe you've been dreaming of some form of destruction, something getting tear, torn down, okay, um, or demolition, things of that nature, okay, um, and maybe kind of consider things with pentacles, it's talking about earth energy, so um, kind of get into the idea of writing down your dreams and what you're experiencing, okay, um, it doesn't mean that it's the end of something because anything that's destroyed can possibly be rebuilt if you're willing to do it, okay? If you're really willing to see it through, okay? Um, and look at it in that hindsight versus, oh my gosh, I, I built this. It's like someone knocking down your sandcastle, okay? Um, if, and you know, you feel destroyed, you feel distraught, you're angry, you're upset, but, you know, remember, you're on the beach, there's water there, there's sand everywhere. You can rebuild again. It's not completely destroyed because you can build it right back up again, okay? Um, and life is not always that easy, but sometimes it is if you're willing to be motivated to really put the work in, okay? And so that could be where you are with this uh, seven of pentacles where maybe you felt like things were destroyed, okay? Um, or you showed, um, for some of you, you showed a lot of passion, okay, towards something in particular. Um, and now you're waiting for the fruits of your labor to, you know, to be ready to harvest, okay? So that's for some of you. Like I said, others of you, you could be dreaming about things being destroyed and uh, not really or feeling like there's no possible way of rebuilding things up. But fear not because you do have this six of wands here as the energy between both you and or the situation, okay? With Leo being here, that's Leo energy. Um, very powerful energy as we see this kind of guard here holding one of the wands with five underneath, okay? So whatever it is, it's definitely the victory is possibly pertaining to change, okay, um, for you which leads to a victory because of the fact that you held held your position, you stayed strong within yourself, okay? And it could be like this knight 
turning into maybe a commander or something of some sort, the way it kind of transitions, okay? Um, into this Six of Wands is what I'm feeling. So let's go ahead and get into your mindful messages, which is your main focus right now, Taurus, or what you should probably be focusing on. One from the top and one from the bottom. The colors associated with these cards, um, I put them with the different chakras. So you may need to work on some of your chakras or do some realignment possibly or meditation within these chakras, okay? You don't have to, but you might want to consider it if you're a spiritual spiritualist, okay? You can take both of these messages for yourself or one for you and one towards the situation, whatever fits for you, okay? So the first message is follow my joy follow my joy okay feeling as though this is a mixture of the root chakra into a little bit of these like solar plexus sacral and maybe even the heart chakra here okay today i will write down 10 things i enjoy doing the things that make me feel good and raise my mood. Then I'll pick one or as many as I feel guided to and go do it. When I'm having fun and enjoying life, I am in a state of allowing for all that I desire. Okay, follow my joy. Okay, so take that to heed Taurus to you know, think of 10 things that you really love to do, okay? They could be very small. It could be something from cooking to creating something, okay? Um, and just do one or a couple, okay? If you can fit a couple in, you know, just pace yourself in between um, time um, and just follow your joy, okay? It could be just as simple as that. Whenever you find yourself, you know, kind of feeling a little bit off or, uh, detoured, if you will, okay, um, from your goals. Focus on something that you can can do for yourself that brings you joy, okay? Next, we have tune in, tune in, which is primarily showing here the sacral and solar plexus chakras, okay? Today, before doing what I normally do, I will take a moment to slow down, to pace my hands, place my hands at my heart space and take a few deep breaths. I will ask myself what I truly want and I will honor however I am feeling. I will honor however I am feeling. Every time when this card comes out, um, I automatically think of the inner child, okay, which is your sacral space, okay, your sacral chakra, mixed in with your solar plexus, which is creativity and imagination, things of that nature, okay, so kind of listen to your inner child a little bit, um, that is where our innocence lies, okay, and so kind of tune into that as far as really taking the time to slow down and connect with your heart space, okay? And honor what you're feeling, no matter what it is, okay? So if you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling afraid, hone that in, honor those feelings, and kind of take some deep breaths, focus on your heart space, calming yourself, and then recentering yourself to face whatever those feelings are and why you're feeling those things, okay? Nine times out of 10, it's your inner child talking to you, okay? Um, because that's, for in my opinion, where our insecurities can come from, where our insecurities lie, okay? And that sometimes is triggered by something else, okay? So um, take the time to kind of hone that in towards, figure out what it is and just face it head on, little by little, okay? And don't let it deter you from your joy, okay? So, that being said, let's get into the sacral geometry. I feel like we need to shuffle. I shuffled everything beforehand, but sacred geometry feels like it needs to be shuffled again. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle by three, and then you guys know I usually take the time to cut by threes as well. Last shuffle. Okay. Same goes for the geometry cards, one from the top and then one directly from the bottom. You can take both for yourself or one for yourself and one towards the situation, okay? You can use the images on these cards as a visual aid for your meditations if you are interested in doing so. I try to hold them up for a little bit so that way you can take a screenshot possibly, okay? So we have emergence number 25, emergence number 25, okay? So emergence says, the frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place, okay? Love how this is kind of like diagonal from the tune in card, okay? It kind of just gives confirmation of kind of connecting with your inner child, okay? Um, making your inner child proud, letting your inner child sing, okay? Um, and celebrate the beauty of having that innocence about you, okay? Um, I don't know very many Tauruses that don't have some kind of innocence about them, okay? Um, where your your joy, your feelings, your emotions run very deep, just as much as a water sign does. We are literally the kind of like the sister sign, the opposite of Scorpio. So um, when it comes to that, I kind of, I don't know, you know, everybody's birth chart, but you could have water in your chart. Um, Taurus, I know I do. Um, so kind of emerge, let your inner child emerge um, and just, you know, get in tune with your inner child um, and just enjoy the beauty of having that innocence. Not very many people have it, okay? Um, it's kind of in, kind of tied to that emotional intelligence that you may have that other people don't, okay? So by all means, you know, do with that what you will, all right? Next, we have magic number 31, okay? Um, very popular card um, among the collective. It's, you know, since I've started doing these readings, it's been popping up a little bit lately since last month, okay? So there's a lot of possible magic going on uh, within the collectives. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestations, okay? All that is required is our belief in their manifestations, okay? So just believe in that, the infinite possibilities and expressions, okay, that are um, in tied with the magic of just being who you are and what you have created, okay? Um, manifest this six of wands energy, that victory that is just around the corner for you and whatever it is that you are very driven to do. Okay, Taurus. So with that being said, that is all that I have for you guys this evening. We do have three more readings for you guys this week. So until then, peace.